Welcome to today's SketchUp training. What I wanted to talk about today was extensions. So uh, first I wanted to cover um, uh, what the extension warehouse is, how to get there, um, and then how to download um, an extension. And then um, next I wanted to cover the extension manager and how you can manage all of the extensions um, that you already have downloaded. Um, so the biggest thing in here is what can you get from the extension warehouse? Um, and you can really get what are called plugins that can really help your SketchUp process just kind of go to the next level. Um, so uh, I've got a ton of plugins that uh, help me draw uh, framed walls or roofs or anything like that. It can just help you in the process and really make SketchUp uh, more of a construction software or whatever you want to use it for. So let's go ahead and jump over and SketchUp. So here we are in SketchUp, um, and you can just see I'm here in the main main portal here. And so typically what I do um, <clears throat> is go to the extension warehouse first. Um, click that, and this opens up another page. Um, so it's basically like a store, and you can go ahead and, and search all kinds of things. They already have categories down here. Um, so maybe woodworking would be a good one for you guys. And all right, so there's, there's a ton of things here. So we have uh, kitchens. Uh, click change, BIM, uh, lighting, and so I mean all of these extra tools that you can add on that can be really helpful. So let's take a look at the kitchen one. All right, so here we have 2016 Click Kitchen. What's really cool is you know you can kind of watch some of these videos, um, check out uh, screenshots, all kinds of stuff. So. Um, and then here, definitely go ahead and read all this stuff here. So, uh, upgrade the full version. Uh, so there's a warning for 2017 SketchUp users. So, um, this is something that is, uh, this one's probably paid for. Um, yeah, full version, 15, or 16, 16.8 uh, for a lifetime. So, some of them are free, some of them have trial versions, um, and you pretty much just go here and click install. Um, and then it'll install it and, and kind of do everything from there, um, which is it's pretty pretty simple to get them from there. So I'm going to jump back to SketchUp, um, and now I'm going to talk about the extension manager. So once you've downloaded one, uh, how can you manage and change them? So now I'm going to move some things around here, um, and as you can see here, so these are all the extensions that I have downloaded right now. Um, some of them I got from the extension warehouse, some of them I did not. Um, and so example here, I've got a cabinet maker one that I can turn on and turn off. And so uh, just by turning it on and applying the changes, um, it'll basically enable this extension. Typically though, you have to restart the system, um, uh, shut down SketchUp, restart it, and then um, those extensions will work. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. That is as easy as it is to make SketchUp into your own um, modeling software um, and, and to be able to do some really cool, more advanced things. So thanks a lot for watching. In our next videos, I'm going to go over a few of the extensions that I use, and you can see if those can work for your system too. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.